Industrial Steam Museum today. Um, last time I showed you how we got the boiler up and running and we ran it for the day. Um, what I didn't show you is how we um, open the crown valve and we start warming through the engines. So I'm going to show you that today. Um, if you've got enough time, I'll also show you how we put the boiler to bed ready for the next time. Typically, it's bed for about half, uh, for about a month. Um, in the summer, we run it every sort of other week or so, but um, at this time of year, towards the end of the season, we, we run it every every month or so. So it's important that we put it to bed properly for that for that period. So we're going to open up the crown valve, which is all the way up there. open. Um, you can hear the steam going into to the museum along this pipe um, and we're going to use that to um, to warm up the engines. It needs to be warmed up for a good couple of hours um, before we start to use them. Steam oil sets when it's cold so uh, the, a lot of cast iron to warm up, warm up that oil um, and make the engines nice, uh, move nice and free. So let's go in and start warming through. Um, we can we can see that there's um, the line drains are open. Um, we can start closing those off a little bit. Um, let's just pour and steam out, so we can just close that down a bit. Um, and we see the line drain in here is open as well. Over to the marshal. Um, again, doesn't have cinnamon jackets on it, but we just crack open a bit. Just enough to send steam down here into the steam chest, which is here. With a, there's a slide valve in here, um, and it'll just, once this gets warm, it tends to heat up the cylinder. And in any case, chances are, um, yeah, chances are, see, it's mid stroke at the moment. Um, so one of the, the valve will be open to at least one of these pist um, cylinder ends um, now. Um, so I'll start warming up from there as well. Right, let's have a walk around and see how warm we are. It's been, been a while. Yeah, that's hot. So we can back this off just a little bit. Um, have a look here. Yeah, good and warm now, good and warm. So we'll just back this off and just listen to the steam. So that's, that's off just cracked just maintain the heat yeah this is warm so i've already turned this off because it's warm that's good just gonna have a look around here this one takes a fair while to warm up it's got a lot of cast on it um i don't think we'll be warm so when we're testing things i uh, don't always do it but generally the back of your hand see if it's hot uh, but this is stone cold still so Go. Yeah, this is coming up slowly. I don't think we need too much on this one. It's quite a reliable thing anyway. Right, walking back through here. Um, last one that we didn't actually warm up was, was or start warming up was this beam engine. The scale of these things is incredible. It's just not the biggest thing, but it's enormous. Again, this one, just crack open the regulator a little bit. You can hear it immediately go. In fact, this one actually runs on quite low pressure. So we've got this regulator here, and we can see what pressure we've got in the line. So as I open the regulator, you can see the line pressure drops. We don't need much, we just, just want a little bit, just there. Dover house and we've got a lot of steam coming from somewhere. I don't know where that's coming from. Crikey. 
the line drain down here. Oh, that's better. Crikey, that was loud. Um, this engine takes hours to warm up. Um, and it's really simple. See, there's a, along with the, the regulator starting steam, there's this steam jack, uh, jacket um, out of here. You can see the steam going through. Here, lots of water coming out, and uh, there we go. Really comes alive. Here, lots of water and steam, and all sorts coming down from coming out of the pit. Um, just crack open. Well, it opened too far because we don't want it to start. So, okay. Just so, just so. Oh, we've got a beam engine here. And again, we just crack it like a regulator on this one. Again, the idea is just to get all the, the valve chests nice and warm, cylinders nice and warm if we can, um, just that we're not starting from cold and that steam oil moves nicely. Created a bit of an atmosphere in here with that line drain that was left open. Never mind. So you see we've, um, we've had the crown valve open for a little while, we're warming the engines through. Um, we're just struggling to maintain um, uh, above 50, so we're just going to go and shut that crown valve down just a tad. Because um, we're leaking a lot of steam, um, and really we want to get above 60, 70 to make it maintainable. Nothing's running at the moment, so we're just going to take it down just a just a gnat. Still hear the steam coming out, um, just not quite at the fast rate that it was. Because what I didn't say earlier was all the cylinder drains are, are open on the engines, um, along with the chest drain, which is that one on this one. Um, but they're all open. Um, the reason we do that is because we get an awful lot of condensation. Um, they've obviously got a hot, wet steam hitting cold metal, which condensates. Um, isn't really good for the engines, especially when you start them. Um, what happens is the water doesn't compress, gas and steam does compress, so that um, if there's water in there and it goes at full bore, hits that water, it will crack casting, ruin the engine. Here's an example of how much water comes out of these things. We've got this, um, this pump here, um, which is warming that through. I opened up the steam, you should see how much water's just coming out of the line and the cylinders. Um, and this is just one side, the other side's down there. Um, there we go, we've got steam blowing through on that one, which is what we want. The other one's still got lots of water in, so we're just gonna turn it back down. Um, Want to get all that water out, just a little bit of steam percolating around. There we go. Into the Dover house. Let's have a look at this. Not too bad. It's quite warm, so back this off a little bit. And the actual Dover. Um, obviously, we've still got the cylinder cocks open on this one, um, and, the, and the cylinder heaters. Cylinders are all the way up there. We can climb up there, but I can tell you it's not warm yet. Um, it's still gurgling and bubbling. Um, there's no way it's warm yet. This takes a good two, three hours to warm up properly. If back in the day, they used to warm it up for the best part of a week, um, just to be safe. One of the things we do here is uh, everywhere is uh, make sure that all our line drains are open. There's various around the museum. Um, here's a cylinder. Uh, the chest drain for this this weird pump. Um, we'll do this all over the, the museum. Make sure no condensate um, comes uh, into the into the engines as little as possible. So there's another drain cock there. There's another one there. And various line drains. So you can see we've um, we've turned fire uh, blow off the fire pretty low now. Um, that soon die down. There's not much there. We can see that we've got uh, uh, a full glass of water just slightly off the top. But that's because we're going to do a blow down in a minute. Um, and I'm filling up the header and um, the hot well tanks. 
um, for next time. So we're going to just go up here and close off the crown valve, uh, which means that nothing else will run with the exception of the, the boiler feed pump, which isn't fed from here for obvious reasons. Uh, so that's done. And then we'll show you blowing down in right, a minute. We're at the end of the day now. Um, uh, most of this is left, we've finished our tools. Um, so we're gonna put the boiler to bed. Fairly simple procedure. Uh, which I'll show you now. Last things we do is shut the, the chimney as a flap on the top and we just do that with this lever here. It just stops all the rain and stuff coming down and dripping into the smoke box, rusting it up. Here we are, there's a fire asleep. We're going to sleep. Um, that's it, that's done for another steamer. Until next time, take care.